Oh, hello there. Welcome. So yeah, as you can see, I have full facial tracking. <laughs> so as you can see, my eyebrows move. Uh, I can stick up my tongue and all the expressions. You puff my cheeks out too. It is pretty pog. And I can smile. Mwah. And do kiss as well. And everything like that. Mm -mm, like you would expect from a full facial tracking, basically. Uh, it is going to be, of course, required to do some blender knowledge. Uh, well, I mean, you could probably do it in Maya and stuff, but uh, <clears throat> if you have experience in those programs too. But you need a blend shapes, which are <clears throat> going to be down below. Uh, you can find a full list of your blend shapes. So, um, when you have your avatar, you're going to have to do a few things. You need to get an iPhone, iPhone X, or maybe XR. Those would be like the cheapest option, and they're still good. Um, that's the first generation. I don't know. I have an iPhone 11. That's what I got. Uh, iPhone 11 and iPhone 12 both have second generation I <clears throat> or facial ID. So I don't know if it's any better than first generation, but I've seen people use that XR with, and iPhone X, which was, I think, have the first generation. I'm sure about if, if XR has the first or second, but anyway. They both are good. Guess whatever, second hand or whatever, any iPhone that supports facial ID or iPad as well, that supports facial ID. <clears throat> so, yes. <clears throat> so, anyway, if you do not have your avatar, I do have an older video on doing VUP facial animations. So you could use that video or you can use my updated video, which I will do in the future. After this video, I will, will do it and it will be down in the description. The video is most likely going to be very long. So do not complain if it's two hours, three hours, maybe even four hours long, maybe even more. Because facial animations take a while to do and depends on your your avatar if your avatar already has basic or maybe a, a lot of the blend shapes you could work off of them but to get the full facial tracking you need 52 animations that's going to take at least six hours if you're doing every one of them from scratch but yes, it's going to take a while, but there is a few shortcuts, but there is, there is still issues, but I will show that in a different video. Okay. So <clears throat> assuming you already have an avatar and I will also link if you want to, if you have money, uh, 500, you can commission some people. I'll link them down below as well. I do not take commissions of of yes, I don't have time, which is why I've been lacking a little bit on my YouTube. But anyway, <clears throat> so anyway, so you got your iPhone, right? So when you get your iPhone, you're going to need it, something to hold it. So what I use is a desk clamp, kind of like a boom arm for my microphone that I use, but or an iPhone. You can buy those roughly for $10, $15 or something from Amazon. No problem. <laughs> so you clamp it, you put it kind of like in front of you, but like it's not in my face. It's just a little bit like, it's like, it's basically like here in, as I'm pointing with the avatar, it's basically just under, a little bit under my chin, facing up on my face. So, um, so yeah, that's how you set, it up anyway you can set it up as 
I mean, any possible way you can even wear a helmet, which of course is kind of, you know, not the most comfortable way, but you know, you do, you do what you do, what you need to do or whatever. So, yes. So anyway, the second thing is apps. You're going to need an app. So there is Face ID app that you need to buy. It's only like $10 or something like that. So it's fairly cheap. If you have an iPhone, you can afford this shit. So, uh, next. Also, there is a wide IO, which is actually free, but you're going to need to upload your model. Plus, it eats away battery pretty quick. Like I'm talking about your 100% battery, brand new phone. This is brand new phone from me. About three to four hours use until fully dead. <clears throat> and my iPhone also does not have pretty much everything off. So it's like lowest brightness and everything. So yeah. Uh, I use my iPhone literally just as a camera for my YouTube uh, or Twitch. <clears throat> you know. So I have no background apps. I have nothing. This is just a plain iPhone, so yeah, you're roughly gonna get four hours of use. Or if you're gonna use the other app, which I highly recommend, is the one that ten dollars. It's pretty easy to set up as well, so very very good, and it's less battery. About you get about five hours. The other one is about three to four. So yeah, big difference. Anyway, um, so th yeah, the next thing. So, if you're going to use the paid uh, iPhone app, I'll also link the, in the description the apps that you need to get. Um, you're, you're only going to have to just, literally just open it. And that's basically it. After that, all you have to do then is download another program which is on your computer which is going to fetch the data. So, you're going to download a program actually from a, a nice VTuber as well. She does also tutorials, so shout out to her for making, she does coding. So she made a little program for us to use, which is pretty handy, easy to use, awesome, free too. So link her page down below, make sure to download it. So you got your app open on your iPhone. You got this downloads so you basically just double click this when you download unzip the folder you just click this you get this program and so here you have iphone id so phone uh, uh, ip address that is going to be at the very top of of the app in your phone that you download this as you can see here and uh next is the protocol IP. So when you open up, there's two programs that you can use as far as I know. There's probably more, but there's two programs that I know of, <clears throat> which is Lapis and VC Face. I use VC Face personally, um, but you can use a Lapis if you have Lapis. Um, but yes, <clears throat> as you can see this, the, the L face thing if you want it on you can just test it if your avatar is working or if you're uh, connected so if your face is moving with the phone that means you have your IP addresses correctly the setup uh, for your iPhone is connected to your face so make sure these two are the same anyway uh, well you just want this off just to save resources obviously you don't need it on <clears throat> Uh, but yeah, next. Alright, now that we are in VCPs, we can next do the, well, the protocol IP. So what you have to do, go to settings, in general. And then all you have to do is scroll down until you find this. This is what I do. So you just have to turn this on. So as you can see, my after stop talking. It does not have any more facial tracking. So this just, you know, <clears throat> this, this is it. And then you click this and then you get your facial tracking. Boom. Right away. Uh, after you, of course, put that IP, 
uh, the port number. So, of course, you have to make the same port number. Yeah, so that's what you have to do. And also, when you click show IP, LAN IP, uh, you're going to have to put it into here. So, IP from this, show IP, copy IP, and put it in here. Uh, port, copy port number, put it in, <clears throat> and then you're connected. That's it. That, uh, boom, boom, boom. You can disable track face features. Obviously, you don't need that because your facial features are being tracked by the eye facial capture. And that's you just made. So that's it. That's all you have to really do for facial capture. Now we can do all the face. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. So yeah, this is basically how you set up the eye, the iPhone face tracking for your VTuber avatar. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. And yes, stay tuned for the future videos i will be putting up for the base tracking how to actually you know put the key shapes on your avatar and everything that you need to know so i also want to thank my patreons for making everything really possible without them i'd be most likely flipping burgers and McDonald's or something instead of doing this for you guys. So I'm very grateful I'm able to do all of this and all the support for my streams also really helped me to do all the VTuber tutorials for you guys. So thanks for everything. Every watch, every like, comment, subscribe will help me in return. Uh, so I can help you guys too. So it would be awesome. Give it a like. Help the algorithm so people can find these videos. And we all can have the facial tracking and all its glory. And we can push VTubing to the next level. So yes. <laughs> Thanks all for all the support and love. I appreciate that. Mwah. So, bye-bye, everybody. Hopefully, I'll see you on the next video or my stream. So, make sure you check that out. It will be down below. So, everything will be down below. And so, yeah. Bye-bye.